You cannot start your day without the workers prayer. Monday to Saturday 5:30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago. All workers are people who are on the ground. On call or sometimes have to put their lives at risk. From the start of the day until late at night. Trying to solve problems to put others' mind at ease. In unpredictable situations. Wherever they are, to try to make the economy go forward. This is why we bring to you the Workers' Prayer. Arise and shine. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Monday, the first working day of the week. What a privilege for us to be together this day because God is giving us one more opportunity to make a difference because we are His. He cares for us and He wants us to experience His power. He wants us to be blessed. He wants us to rejoice. He wants us to benefit from His promises. And speaking about benefiting from God's promises, let us now hear, let us now get to know what is God's promise for us this day. Promise of the day. For the word of God says, Then those who fear the Lord spoke to one another. The Lord listened and heard them. And a book of remembrance was written before him. For those who fear the Lord, who esteem his name. Malachi chapter 3 verse 16. Those who fear the Lord, they spoke with one another. And a book of remembrance was written for those who fear the Lord. So God remember those who fear Him. If you fear God, if you make Him the number one in your life, if you abide to His words, if you commit yourself to Him fully, believe me, God will never forget you. On the contrary, He's going to enable you to have the results you want to have. He's going to enable you to see changes. He's going to lead you all the way. He's going to grant you victory. Because this is what the Word of God says. That those who feared Him, their names were written in the book of remembrance. So all your petitions, all your prayers, everything that you have brought to His attention, He will never forget. And in due time, He's going to grant you victory. He's going to bring it to your hands. And this day is today, Monday. The day that we are going to be gathered together in the strong nation, gathering of faith, 5 p.m. in our national headquarters, number 40, South Key, Port of Spain. You are going to have the opportunity to put God's words to the test because the word of God cannot return to him empty. You are going to make a pact with the word of God. And believe me, everything is going to change. Because if you fear God, if you obey his words and you Present to him your petitions. A book of remembrance is right before him. Your petitions will be written on it. And he's going to enable you to have everything you ask for the way you have asked him for. So prepare yourself today to be with us. At 6 a.m. as well, 10 a.m., 12 midday, 3 p.m., most especially 5 p.m., last but not least, at half past six in the evening in our national headquarters as well in our in the universal church of the kingdom of god nationwide trinidad and tobago once we have said so we have come to our moment of prayer the workers prayer this is our moment of prayer my god and father in the name of jesus I now pray on behalf of all your people. I ask you, O oh Father, to reach out those who now pray with us in need of answers. Because your word says a book of remembrance will be written. And that, O oh God, is for those who fear you. This person who, uh, who now prays with us, this person fears you. This person believes you. Every day, early in the morning, oh God, this person is joining us for this prayer. 
This person does not begin the day without your word. This person does not begin the day without your guidance. This person does not start the day without your direction. So I pray to you, O oh Father, touch. I pray to you, O oh God, strengthen. Bless those who are about to leave their homes to go to their jobs. Bless those, O oh Father, who are already in their working place. Bless those who are heading to their businesses. Bless those who are going to interviews. Enable them, my Father, this day to have the answer they have been longing for. Bless Trinidad and Tobago. May all, O oh God, the project of this nation be successful. May your light shine upon the economy of this country. And may there be growth, development, progress, prosperity in every way. With a blessing, I bless all those who pray with us. And I determine this week to be for them, my Father, blessed week. This week which we are beginning today is going to be for each one of them a successful week. Because you remember those who fear you and you grant them victory. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And those who agree say, Amen. You are blessed indeed. God is with you. The victory is yours. Do you believe? Take possession of it. Because God never forget those who fear Him. And those who fear God, they are filled with His Spirit. Those who fear God, they have a pact with God. Those who fear God, they have a covenant with God. So my dear, when the Spirit of God comes upon you, that is a total transformation. Let us see the transformation the Holy Spirit brings to one's life. Um, before I received the Holy Spirit, I was very insecure. I had depression and in a way I was very doubtful. I was fearful as well because I remember I would have panic attacks over the smallest things. Um, I also had trust issues. I couldn't trust people. I just felt that I was alone in a way. So I just didn't really open up to anyone. I didn't really trust anyone with anything. When I heard about the 21 days, I thought to myself, okay, this is, this is it. This is the time that I can actually be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Because I've seeked before for the Holy Spirit and in a way I would do it. I would seek and seek and nothing would happen. And after a while, I'd just give up. I'd just say, okay, maybe it's not for me, maybe another time. But during these 21 days, I thought, okay, this is the sacrifice that I will make. I did what the purpose was. I woke up at 5 a.m. in the mornings to pray. I because I work as well, so when I was in work, there would always be music because I work in the shop, so there was music also. I would try and come to the church as much as possible and also meditate on the word that was given each day, read it back to myself and actually apply it to myself and believe in it that it can happen. I just remember being sincere, pouring out everything, everything that was in me and I just said, okay, it's now kind of thing. I need to receive the Spirit and it can happen now, it can happen tomorrow, it can happen any day. I don't have to wait for the 17th and I was just continuously seeking and inside I just felt peace, like joy inside of myself. It wasn't like a joy that um, would disappear, it was a joy that was there and at the same time there was a doubt saying, okay, no, think about this problem you're going through, how are you going to solve this, how are you going to solve that, but I just shut everything out and I just believed and just had the assurance inside of myself that I have received the Holy Spirit. This is the last week of the fasting of Daniel. And this Sunday is going to be the day of our wedding with God. The day we have been longing for. We are preparing ourselves for this day. We are going to be together 7 o'clock in the morning. As well 9 o'clock in the morning. And 11 o'clock in the morning. Pastor, but the time of the services changed this Sunday, this week. Yes. This Sunday especially, the times of the services will be 7 o'clock in the morning. The second service will be 9 o'clock in the morning and the third service will be 11 o'clock in the morning. You prepare yourself to be with us because when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, everything changes. And this Sunday is the day of our wedding with God. The day that we will become one with the Holy Spirit. What you saw, the transformation you heard from this person who was filled with the Holy Spirit, it's the same you are going to experience in your life. This Sunday, in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God, Trinidad and Tobago. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. Monday of the Pact with the Word. 
Are you sick and tired of your current financial situation? You live from paycheck to paycheck and you're barely making ends meet. You make partnerships with many people, but they always fail you in the end. Due to the current pandemic, you got laid off, closed your business. For it is written, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me for Join us in our strong nation service to form a pact with the God of the Bible, the one who never fails and left us down. Mondays at 5 p.m., also at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 o'clock noon, 3 p.m., and 6.30 p.m. at number 40 South Key, Port of Spain, and all universal churches countrywide. You cannot start your day without the worker's prayer monday to saturday 5 30 a.m subscribe to our youtube channel universal church trinidad and tobago